Hey, what's going on guys? Here we are back in our beautiful New York and Chicago inspired city. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a traffic light. Uh, there are multiple ways you can build them depending on how big your roads are. So I'll kind of demonstrate as I go along what my uh, pattern is for how I make these and how I put them throughout my entire city. All right, so here's the blocks I use. I usually do uh, black traffic lights. You can use a variety of colors. You can also use like stone or I don't know, maybe even white uh, traffic lights. It's up to you, but just make sure whatever you're using is consistent throughout the build. So you get the slab and you get the stair of it. All right, so here we go. So first you're gonna need a cauldron, an anvil, you know, your wall of choice, white concrete, wither skeleton skull, dark oak fence gate, dark oak trap door, quartz slab, and black carpet. Now, something else I forgot to mention too is whatever color you end up using is, you're probably gonna wanna try to best match the uh, trap door and the fence gate with that color as well. All right, so here we go, let's get started. So first you're gonna do is put your cauldron and your anvil down like this. Then you're gonna stack up one or two blocks. It's up to you. I usually do two blocks since my C scale is a little bit, bit larger than one to one. Uh, then I stack up one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Next, this is the level that the traffic light actually goes on. So you place a cauldron and then you stack up four more times. One, two, three, four, like that. Dark oak fence gate here. Dark oak trap door here, or your trap door of choice, I guess. Your light, and then you place carpet on these two blocks. And then lastly, you're gonna place the wither skeleton skull right here above that. All right, so next up guys, what you're gonna to wanna to grab is polished black stone slab, green concrete, block of coal, polished black stone stairs, and again, you're gonna want your trap door too. All right, so when I go to do this road, what I do is I tend to come out by increments of five because that's how big my roads are. Um, so I start very generically and basically by doing something like this. And what I do is I look underneath uh, the road that I'm building and I place the traffic light in the middle of the lane like this. So, you know, However big your traffic light is, that's where you'd place the traffic lights that you want to go. And then I usually have extra space on the side because I like doing a lot of on-street parking up my city streets. So it leaves sign for a, what you call these, um, road sign. Uh, yeah, street, yeah. The thing that labels the streets, you know what I'm talking about. All right, um, and then you just layer this with dark oak trap doors like that both layers and polished black stone stair there to make that transition a little bit smoother. All right, and then after that, you are all done. And also, if you don't have extra space on the side of the road, you can come down here and put the street sign like here. Uh, it's a very good thing you can do. Um, and also, you know, if you wanna name your streets, give it a name. You can put a sign on this and you know, name it as you will. Uh, anyway guys, that's this traffic light tutorial. More tutorials coming out in the following Tuesdays. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you on your city or whatever you may be building that requires traffic lights. So yeah, uh, see you guys later.